Man, come on, there's gotta be something here. I need an MMO to play. Let's play the pony one. What? Wait, who let you in here? Mommy. Okay, what pony one? This one. Legends of Equestria. Where'd you find this? Mommy. Webbles, what the hell? That's for saying my sister is pretty. You're identical twins. Of course she's pretty because you're pretty. Not helping your case. Have fun playing the pony game. Pony game. Oh boy. Legends of Equestria, or in other words, the My Little Pony MMO, in everything but name only because copyright infringement. This is an independent MMO that just hit open access and definitely isn't finished yet. But uh, how do I say this? It's surprisingly good. That might be because I've looked at a lot of My Little Pony games for my daughter, and they all suck. So I went in expecting something pretty bad. And it wasn't. Hooray for low standards! Now, believe it or not, I'm not a My Little Pony expert. However, I have seen a few episodes. I have a five-year-old daughter who is really into ponies and is the walking embodiment of Pinkie Pie. It was inevitable. So I guess I'm gonna need an expert to catch all the references I don't know. You can stay, Munchkin. Yeah. Just don't talk too much. No promises. The first thing you'll do in game is create your pony. You'll choose from male or female, which just seems to control eye size between large and ludicrous, and then choose between being an earth horse, a unicorn, or a pegasus. The game doesn't tell you right off the bat, but there is a difference. I'm not sure what they are other than the ability to fly or having a horn, but there is a difference. Then it's time to colorize. Pink. All right, what else? Pink. What about some other color? Ah! Okay then, after this you'll pick your hair, tail, and tattoo. Cutie mark. Sure, why not? And you're off. The first thing you might notice is how similar the art style is to the show. And that's a good thing, it is spot freaking on. My daughter and I went with a Pegasus, so we started in Cloud City. Bespin, we'll call it Bespin. From here it's time to talk to your instructor who will teach you about movement. You can run, but if you're a Pegasus, you can fly! Whee! Yo, getting a bit barfy here. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> then the teacher sent us on a few fetch quests. You'll talk to other ponies, which are marked by exclamation points on your minimap here. You'll talk to them about why you're special, deliver packages for them, and then talk to your classmates about the wear pony. Lots and lots of talking. Skip it. What did they say? Do you know how to read? Not really. Then they said they love you best dad ever. From here you'll travel to some different locations in the game, Cantermore and Ponydale. Genuinely, these locations look really nice. Once again, color me impressed. Ponydale in particular had a lot of in-references, at least according to my expert here in- Pinkie Pie! Thank you, random person on the internet, you have made my daughter's day. Eventually you make your way to the woods where you get to experience the combat of the game. It's fairly simplistic hotkey combat, but it's competent, and also had a little complexity to it. I had some hoof stomps, a hind kick, and a bubble blast. Well, each of these do damage, they also affect the enemy's temperament. This changes how the enemy behaves. A fairly complex idea that requires you to use certain skills at certain times to raise and lower this meter. Killing enemies gives you some loot and grants you experience. Turns out you have a few different paths of progression. Combat, flying, medical, and partying. You level each of these individually. Doing so gives you points, which you'll use to unlock new skills. After a few levels, you get to choose your talent mark, which is kind of like choosing your class. Naturally, I went with healer. I'm not sure if this changes anything, but the quest I did taught me to use my healing skills, so that was cool. While doing this, you apparently have the choice to have your young pony grow up into a teenage pony. Probably all rebellious and listening to that rock music. But not you, right? Whatever. Man, yeah, good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and stop here, but man, this ain't half bad. It's definitely something made for fans of the show. It's simplistic enough for my daughter to play, but complex enough for older players to enjoy. This is the first My Little Pony game I would let my daughter play. I think it could use some voice acting to make some of the dialogue-heavy segments more palatable for younger players, and perhaps a full-sized map because this is super small and not very detailed. But overall, this is a really good start and something I could see my daughter getting into. What did you think? Where do babies come from? Wibbles! And that was Legends of Equestria. I'd like to give a big thank you to my expert. You're welcome. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button for future videos. You can also watch another video if you want. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and follow me on Twitch for my weekly live streams. You can also donate to me on Patreon like these other amazing ponies. Their friendship really is magic.